man, 1998 was a good year for games. Oh god, it's even worse than the last time! Looking Glass Studios, known at the time for the Ultima Underworld series and System Shock, were pioneers in a new genre of first-person games. Immersive simulations. First-person games where you did other things besides shooting monsters or shooting other players or peeing into urinals for health. Ah, uh, much better. And one series that always stuck with me, because I didn't play the other one, System Shock 1 felt like playing an operating system and not a game, but I guess the enhanced edition fixes that a little bit, right? Never mind, the one that stuck with me was Thief. Not a shoot 'em up a stealth -em up Where you hid in the shadows and robbed rich people or religious fanatics most of the time? We'll talk about that probably in the second episode of this series, but for now, this video is a little different, a little slower. Not as slow as an actual Thief game where a single mission could take an hour or more, but still. The name of the game is Immersion, Atmosphere, expertly crafted levels, and being as open-ended as the player wants. We're not playing 1998 Thief, we're using New Dark, a source port that was developed anonymously, is completely unsupported by the game's creators, and it says here to use it at your own risk. Which is weird because I've never had a single issue with it, these warnings are a lot more ominous than they should be. Welcome, young Garrett. In the nearby rooms, I will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. Yeah, that's cool. When do I get a gun? You must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows. Avoid the light. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. Well done. I did not see you approach. Open this door to continue. When the door is near the center of your screen, it will light up, indicating that it is selected. To manipulate selected doors... And hey, shut objects. up for a second. Are we in space? Actually, that's a Star of David. Are we in space balls? Proceed down this corridor for your next test. Now you must learn to move quietly. Some surfaces are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes more noise than moving slowly. Very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. Now get your weapons. About time. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. Ready your bow. Way ahead of you. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, release your attack. See if you can hit one of these targets. Good shot. That's ain't my first time being kidnapped into a secret society. Good job. You're ready for a live opponent. To practice against your partner, enter the cobbled sparring area. Attack him with your sword, not your bow. Bitch, this is an immersive sim. I'll do what I want. That's enough sparring for today. Please walk over to the table. Yeah, in a minute. I don't think I've ever been down this way before. Uh-huh, a locked door. There's a key on that table, but, uh... Oh, it just never ends with this guy. Please pick up all of the items on this table. Cycle through your inventory to see the objects you have in your pockets. Immersion destroyed. Nailed it! What's over here? Goddamn looking glass are less gay jokes in Kevin Smith movies. Unlike the rest of this game, this is not gonna age well. Now you will learn new movement skills. First, climb the rope by jumping onto it. Move while looking up or down to climb up or down the rope. Turn to change your facing. If you jump again, you will release the rope. Now climb the rope to get to the top of the platform. Well done. This obstacle is easy to climb if you know how. <laughs> the keepers were training me to be one of them, but I found other uses for those skills. Mm. A few too many to try to get by here. You want to come with? Couldn't pay me enough. Get out of here, rogue. This is no place for you. 
but I wanted to hear about the bears. They just don't make bears like they used to. Whoa! Killer bears! Would have liked to see that. <laughs> This one's easy. You break into a mansion, you steal a scepter, you could do it blindfolded. I just have trouble with ladders sometimes, you know? How's it going? Oh, it's going great, can't you tell? You guys can't see it, but somebody flushed some valuable stuff down here. Fucking rich people neighborhoods, am I right? So this is a game all about stealth. You can do what they call ghosting, where you don't knock out any guards, you leave everything the way you found it, nobody knew you were there. That's boring. How's it going? Hey! Where'd you come from? Nobody's gonna find him down there. I hope he doesn't drown. Sometimes they can drown if you throw them into water while they're unconscious. They can in Thief 2 anyway. I'm playing on experts so you can't kill anybody. Giant spiders don't count. Giant spiders aren't people or pets. I think they made the death sound for the spiders so annoying so you don't want to kill them. In a thief game, your objectives are to sneak in, steal a valuable thing, steal a bunch of less valuable things to pay your rent, and get out. Oh yeah, and this is Benny. We love Benny. Could you possibly be any more helpful? Does this count as a sewer? You know what, this game's awesome, I'll give it a break. Katie, how dare you? Inside at last. But I've been thinking we should watch the outside. That's stupid. People don't worry about they're on the inside. No, then you catch them before they get inside, you taffer. Oh! That's also Benny. <coughs> This is also Benny. I think I'm gonna loop around and get behind him so I can sack him without him noticing. Nah, I'm kidding. Wasting a flash bomb! Remember, we're not killing these people. We're only knocking them out with a leather wrapped piece of lead called a blackjack, making them unconscious for a long period of time, and leaving them to be treated for a traumatic brain injury with medieval medicine. <clears throat> and hiding them in a dark corner somewhere to sleep it off or whatever. <sighs> Something there. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. Oh god, oh fuck, do not turn into me. Sir? Was that you? Oh, okay. <laughs> we have to get upstairs and rob the guards' barracks, too. Just for giving me trouble. Well, not trouble. <laughs> they are kind of dumb. What's that? Who go? And I get bread? A carrot and some money. Baffert doesn't pay these guys enough. Okay, here's my What's favorite thing noise? to do: avoid the loud surface by jumping from carpet to carpet and just the wind, I guess. <clears throat> and rob the rich guy's bedroom. I wonder if he reads them or if it's just for show. It's as good a time as any to mention Steven Russell's perfect performance as Garrett in this series. No, not you, never you! This Ginny person seems awfully suspicious, and there's a mention in this letter about Victoria, a character who will show up later. Because this game is really well written. I can barely make head or tail of what this shit is, but it's fine, it's good. Fucking pagan talk. I know what you're thinking. Sivvy, what are you doing going around chopping up all the tapestries?
Oh, hey, it's the throne room with the scepter in it. I didn't even have to use a key to get in, even though I have like five of those. What's there? And Benny's guarding it. Benny's dumber than George Green. I don't have rope arrows yet, but I'll deal with it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's a throne room. How pretentious can you get? Here we go. I think I've knocked out every guard in this place except for the three out front so I can do this. And then take the incredibly long passageway down to Baffert's office. Yeah, there's some valuable stuff here. He's got his books. If anyone asks who ransacked this place, it was Ginny. Yeah, I'll take another key, why not? Exit to the streets and you're done. Ginny can rot in fucking Crags Cleft for all I care. I went to Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently, they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So, hopefully, they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison. Oh, the fucking Hammerites. The Hammerites are awful. They're like Catholics who don't drink. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the Hammers still work the top-level mines, and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill and to the north. The Hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. Haunted? <laughs> sure. What do we got here? Cuddy still owes you for the Baffert job, break him out and you'll get your cash. Fair enough. You've had your eye on Basso, the boxman's sister, for a while now. If you break him out of Crags Cleft, she'll probably be very grateful. There are easier ways to get laid, or so I'm told, but okay. Is it the beggar borrowed your lucky hand of glory, and knowing him probably hid it from the hammer's body search in ways you'd rather not think about? According to Wikipedia, a hand of glory is the dried and pickled hand of a male person who has been hanged. Oh. Ew! Take a grand worth of their stuff, escape with Cuddy and Basso, and don't kill anyone. Sure, I'm on board. There's a mine here, so there's just precious metals lying around. It's cool. Oh, right. The zombies. <laughs> I hate zombies. They're just lying around, moaning, and if you walk by, they wake up. You can stun them with the arrows of the sword, but to kill them for real, you either need holy water, flash bombs, or explosives. It's some awfully good jibbing for a game where you're not supposed to kill people. You think you'd be able to bash their heads in with a hammer or something? Look at me wasting all my water arrows. Good thing this level's full of electric lights I can't put out. Goddamn hammerites. Okay, fine, it's haunted. Youths in this time seek to learn about gold and politics, not honest craft will be their loss when they come of age and know not how to accomplish aught of consequence. Boomers, am I right? I could feel that joke getting old as it was coming out of my mouth. So much of this game is sitting in the dark and studying guard patrols, which you think would be boring, but... No! No, it's not! Yeah, that's not mantling. That should have been mantling. Time to run, because if he finds you, he's just going to beat you to death with a sledgehammer. Thy hiding place cannot last. I'm going to try and lead him out. Halt! Show thyself at once! That works, too. 
Noisy metal floors call for moss arrows. I don't know why he doesn't notice that, but it was 1998. The fact that the AI could do what it did in this game was incredible anyway. Clanky metal grating. I better tread softly. For example, what I'm doing right here, don't do this. Don't ever do this. This is terrible. games and face me. No. Did something make a noise? I just find the inclusive. The level design in this game is pretty amazing all around. Like here I find this alcove that takes me into a yeah, okay. Here's a dead guy with a hot tip for Cuddy about the Horn of Quintus, which is located in the Bone Horde. That sounds bad, fuck that. The dead guy has a key to a safe upstairs to facilitate me robbing these weirdos. I picked it up before I even got the mission objective to do anything with it. Look at this, they have to hide the booze. I have to search for Cuddy, Basso, and that pickled ass hand through four cell blocks. Luckily, they're all connected and you can get keys from them off the guards. Okay, here's another thing you can do that you probably shouldn't. I heard that. Each cell door has its own switch and they aren't labeled, so maybe just let everybody out. Look there, he's got a bow. Wait, what does this button do? Oh god damn it! It wouldn't be dark steampunk fantasy without weird out of place machinery. Like this camera. Come closer, and thou shalt feel my aim. Alright, old man. Let's get you out of here and me my money. <laughs> Afraid you're gonna be disappointed? Good thing you're dying, Cuddy, or I'd have to kill you for stiffing me. Again. Snap, snap, puppy. <coughs> but I owe ya, so... <coughs> Felix went after the Horn of Quintus, down the Bone Horde, left me his notes. The hammers got him, put him in their evidence box. Yeah, I already took care of that. That fell under general thieving. Is there anything else, or are you just gonna, you're just gonna die? Okay. <coughs> Here's my hand to glory, so not only has it been up someone's ass, it's been sitting on a decomposing corpse for god knows how long. So let's recap. Today I have swum in sewage, exposed myself to this dude with pneumonia, looted several corpses, been attacked by reanimated corpses, handled a severed hand that was hidden in somebody's ass, and later I'm gonna nail Basso's sister. I'm sure she's very nice, but there are no toilets in this world. What do you think her personal hygiene is like? Just imagine what this whole world smells like. <laughs> Oh, bullshit. It says unconscious body. What, did he have a stroke while I was carrying him? Hold on, what did Basso even do? Fire lighter. Is that it? There are records that tell you what all the prisoners did and what their punishments were. I had to Google what half of these were. Gelding, I knew, but whisking? Flux? It's all very creative, but I give it like a seven, seven and a half. You're not even putting anybody through rock crushing machines. What are you doing? Well, there's Basso. If he weren't unconscious, it'd be simpler, but now I'll have to carry him out. Which is fine, I guess. Most of the guards are unconscious, too. <sighs> don't drown. Please don't drown. Please don't drown. Your sister better fucking appreciate this. 